Hi everybody, Iron Dog 63 here with a chicken soup video. I'm making homemade chicken soup. This is my take on it. Uh, by all means, you make it the way you want to. Add, subtract, multiply, I don't care, whatever you want to do to it. But this is how I do it. Alright, right here, you're going to see there is one full chicken breast. One full chicken breast means it's both sides. Whenever you get a chicken breast, uh, a chicken has, they don't have two breasts like everybody thinks. They have one breast. It's connected together and it's one breast. But I, I, this is one breast. It probably weighed, I don't know, a pound and a half or so. Almost two pounds maybe. But I chopped it all up, salt peppered it, put some celery salt on it, and some red crushed pepper on it. I'm going to throw the chicken into this four quart roaster when it's uh, done. I'm going to actually brown the chicken. I got oh, probably about a teaspoon and a half of oil in there. I'm going to brown the chicken up in that. Add some uh, chicken stock and uh, my vegetables, and we'll uh, I'll, I'll show you on the way. All right, everybody, there is the chicken right there. I love this little roaster. It's a little four quart roasting oven. You can do a lot with this. I make sloppy Joe in it all the time. It's pretty good. You can fry hamburger in it. It gets up to 400 degrees. So you can cook anything in this thing. I'll bring you back when I get ready for everything else. Okay, here's some of the carrots that's going in it. If you notice, how big the chunks are. This is going to be a hearty soup. It's going to be every time you take a bite of a vegetable, it's going to be one a mouthful. Put in the carrots. It's going to have celery, onions, carrots, and then at the very end, I'm going to put in some noodles. Um, right now, I'm going to get all the carrots in there, let them cook for about 20 minutes before I put the celery in. And then I'll, I'll start putting in the onions in after that. Okay, so far, I have uh, about... One quart of water, hot water, filtered hot water, and one quart of chicken stock in here. I put about two and a half, three tablespoons of uh, chicken bouillon in here. I'm going to let this come to a boil, boil for about 10 minutes, and then I'm going to throw in the celery and the onions. Turn it down on a simmer, let it simmer for a couple hours, and then throw in the noodles. Look at that, man. Doesn't that look good? Damn boy, you can cook. You sure can lay them big pieces of onion. Like I said, I'm doing this for one reason, one reason only. So when you take a bite, you take a bite of just one thing. By onion, by the celery, by the carrots, chunk of chicken. This is going to be a hearty man soup. Ain't much hardier than this, man. I got some extra wide big noodles to go in here. Probably going to end up having to put this into a bigger pan. I'm going to let this cook first for a while. Then I'll transfer it into a big stock pan. And we'll start cooking from there. Okay, everybody. Right there you're going to see I transferred it into a 12-quart uh, stock pot. Right now there's probably about nine quarts in it. Um, I've got chicken stock in it, some water, chicken bouillon, fresh chicken, um, carrots, onions, celery. I got a couple, uh, I don't know if you can see them in there. Right there, there. There's one. There's the other. Bay leaf. I got a couple bay leaves in there cooking. Give it some flavor. I put a little paprika in there because I like paprika. Salt, pepper, garlic powder, celery salt. Um, other than that, 
I'm going to let it cook for a little bit, and then I'm going to put in the noodles. And I was thinking, you know, I got noodles for it, but why use those? The other day we had spaghetti. I didn't use all the noodles. I put them in the freezer, so I'm going to get them out. Cut them up in little bitty pieces, you know, inch and a half, two inches long. Throw them in there. They're already cooked. All I got to do is warm them up. All right, everybody. Right there is the spaghetti noodles. I took them out of the freezer, thawed them out, chopped them up into smaller pieces. They're probably an inch and a half. Some of them are probably 10 inches. Some of them are probably just a quarter inch. But I did my best to chop them up about the same length. I'm going to put them in the soup. And I'm going to stir it, bring it to a boil, and when it comes up to a boil, I'm going to shut it off. I moved it off the smaller burner onto a bigger burner to get some more heat into it. Looking good. Steve! That's what chicken soup looks like, brother. See? There are the noodles. Look at that. Now that's soup that's good food. Hey look. There is one more bay leaf in here. I'm looking for it, but I can't find it. There's a long one. Yeah, they ain't long no more. Okay everybody, I'm done. Dinner's done. I wanted to give you a, a look at it. Doesn't that look good? Yum, yum. By the way, for those that were paying attention, I did find the bay leaf when I was doing this bowl of soup right here. On the second ladle, it come out. Isn't that some good looking soup? Big Steve, that's how chicken soup is made, brother. This is Iron Dog 63 saying if you are a subscriber, thank you for subscribing. If you're not a subscriber, please like and subscribe. It really does help. And as always, God bless and have a great day. Hashtag I am somebody. Hashtag looking lovely as ever. And always remember, soup is good food. Prayers and peace, everybody. Prayers and peace.